Austin's residents typically use 100 million gallons of water a day. Last week, after the storm passed and temperatures started rising, Austin lost 325 million gallons of water because of burst pipes. This graph shows the consumption surpassing the production and the depletion of almost all water reservoirs. Crews have been working round the clock, tracing and fixing leaks so that they can restore water supply to the residents. In this video, we're going to go over some preventive measures we can take in existing and new homes to avoid frozen and burst pipes. For an existing home, here's what we can do before freezing weather arrives. Buy a water meter key, locate your property's water shutoff valve and learn how to turn it off. You can use oil or WD-40 to prevent the valve from breaking. This is extremely important. Every homeowner must know how to turn off their water supply. I cannot stress this enough. This knowledge can minimize flood damage in your home, save you a ton of money in renovations, and it can prevent water from being wasted. Next, remove garden hoses from outside faucets. Turn off irrigation systems. Seal leaks around pipes that allow cold air inside with caulk or insulation. Cover vents around your home's foundation. Insulate any interior pipes in your attic with foam, towels, or heat tape. Insulate any faucets with styrofoam covers, rags, or paper. I use Reflectix insulation on all my outdoor pipes because Home Depot had run out of everything else before the storm last week. This product obviously works better in summer because it can reflect sunlight and keep pipes cool. But I'm convinced that the trapped air in these plastic bubbles protected my copper pipes in the zero degree Fahrenheit weather. I only had one burst PVC pipe and that's because it was filled with water. Once the sub freezing weather arrives, here's what we can do. Open cabinet doors under sinks adjacent to outside walls, shut off water to washing machines in unconditioned garages. Water softeners should be drained and protected from freezing temperatures. If you expect temperatures to be below 28 degrees Fahrenheit for over 4 hours, drip your indoor and outdoor faucets continuously. They don't need to be continuous streams of water, just a scarce drip of about 5 drops a minute. The dripping faucet should be as far away as possible from the main water source so that water will flow through the entire length of the system. A common misconception is that the dripping faucet helps because water can't freeze when it's in motion, but that isn't true. The real reason is that the constant drip relieves pressure that is building up inside the pipes between the ice blockage and the faucet. If your pipes are already frozen, shut off your water supply first before attempting to thaw them out. Now let's discuss what preventive steps we can take in new construction to avoid freezing pipes. PEX or cross-linked polyethylene pipes perform better in cold weather compared to copper. PEX pipes can freeze, but they are much less likely to burst. If there's a buildup of ice and pressure in a PEX pipe, it will just expand. They can also be heated up with a blow dryer or warm towels to get water running again. Even though they're more resilient, it is still recommended to insulate them. I'll make another PEX versus copper video to discuss them in more detail. Reduce the number of pipe joints because they are very vulnerable when water freezes. Ice can stress both metal and plastic pipe joints. PEX pipes can turn 90 degrees with a metal or plastic support, unlike copper which needs to be cut. Insulate roofs and not just attics. Most homes here in Texas have blown in or bat insulation in the attic, but the roof itself is uninsulated. In summer, the attics are stiflingly hot and can radiate heat to the conditioned interior space. We have a pretty small home and a tiny four foot high attic space that I have to crawl through. If I have to do any work up there in summer, I can't be in that space for more than 15 minutes because it gets so hot. The opposite happens in winter when we lose heat through the attic. These massive temperature swings throughout the year can affect uninsulated pipes. After the freeze last week, we saw many videos of people's ceilings crumbling because of burst pipes in the attic. We need to push for better roof insulation to protect pipes, ducts and HVAC equipment. We also need to implement design changes to our homes. In our 60-year-old home, all the plumbing is in one interior chase wall, two small bathrooms on one side and kitchen on the other. 
That's it. That layout protected all our copper pipes from freezing. Newer homes have bathrooms and other plumbing spread all around the house. Pipes are often run on vulnerable exterior walls and the attic, creating more opportunities for leaks and failure. If we design homes around a central core, much like commercial buildings do, we can run pipes through interior walls and protect them from massive temperature fluctuations. A Canadian plumbing company invented a product they call Arctic Blaster that uses a propane torch as a heat source to create superheated, low-pressure, dry steam for thawing pipes, sewer lines, culverts, engines and other frozen equipment. The blaster holds about 2 gallons of water and starts generating steam in 8 to 10 minutes. The hydraulic hose is fished into a sewer or water line until it hits ice. The device sells for about $900. For a demonstration, they froze water in a 4-foot, four 4-inch four wide sewer line. The Arctic blaster was able to melt the ice in 3.5 minutes. The product has many advantages. It can prevent bus pipes if used early enough, it is more energy efficient than heat tape, it is portable and doesn't require any outside power source other than the small propane bottle. It is safer than thawing out pipes with a blowtorch. And finally, it can thaw out underground pipes that aren't easy to access. Leave me a comment below if you think of any other maintenance or design changes we can make to prevent frozen and burst water pipes. I'll link my Patreon page in the description. If you can support me, I'd really appreciate it. A big thank you to everyone already supporting me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See ya.